barriers holding the devil back. And just literally, they become a human chalice. They fill up with demons. Hello, everyone. Did anybody miss me? <laughs> uh, now, I'm glad to see that uh, you've been liking the videos. So, I have a whole host more coming at you. For shizzle. Let's do it. Okay, so these are some of my new ideas, blah blah blah, you can look through the screen. Let's go to... Let's go to this one first, Organic Portals, The Other Race. Now, if you read some things like, I think it's humansarefree.com or .org, something like that. Um, it's one of the websites, also the Cassiopeia organic portals related reading and I can't remember if Veil of Reality <clears throat> if Veil of Reality organic portals articles really mention this because that was something I read a long time ago but uh, those sources at least those ones there may be others they mention like you know, organic portals as another race, and there's also a few sort of videos on YouTube indicating that sort of title and this, you know, nomenclature and <clears throat> meaning. And um, you know, I just thought, yeah, okay, I'll throw in on this. I'll throw down. Uh, <laughs> it may even be connected to. You've heard this thing of. Uh, the pre-Adamites and how they were a different, larger human race, which may even have physical connection to like actual giant skeletons from the past. It may be, it may be, it may be physical, but um, at the least, it connects to this uh, more hyperdimensional theory or, you know, different dimensional sort of theory. Uh, because I really don't think that the inside of Earth is physically hollow. Just, I'm just not so sure. I'm not convinced by one Admiral Byrd's account, you know, as a, especially, you know, a statist. Uh, <laughs> that's not where we're meant to get our info, remember? <laughs> if you forgot the basics. Anyway of this rebellion of consciousness, not against it, that's what they're doing. So, <clears throat> you know, this other race thing might go to this pre-Adamites, um, and, you know, the post-Adamites would be people with my sort of body, and smaller sort of, you know, I'm not uh, a massive person, I'm like 5'10 or something, and there's a theory that, you know, that even the physical is connected to that metaphysical theory. But what I'm talking about is even just in so deep as, you know, that, the metaphysical theory of the pre-Adamites might actually connect to this. I had another video I produced in 2014 um, <clears throat> where, I, where I had my little notepad out in the start of the video and I was going over like a little bit of an epiphany that came to me and, you know, this epiphany was that the first indigo was Adam. <clears throat> so, you know, Adam and Eve, this whole sort of start of the human race idea from the Bible. And I haven't read the whole Bible, I've just heard a lot about it. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's uh, all, all could be sort of connected. Um, that's the way I see it anyway. But, you know, the, the metaphysical part is that, you know, how that is meant is, you know, this stuff is hard to interpret even for people like me who, um, I don't know, have, have these skills or the, the ability to even discern in these areas. Because some people don't seem to, you know, they can't theorize around things. Maybe they're the organic portal people, like I have mentioned in other videos. They don't have insight ability, they don't, um, you know, have inner talk or anything like this inside themselves, you know. 
there's no inside to them, is the kind of whole theory. Then there's this whole thing that I've realised by myself uh, years ago, well, by myself, with the collective information at hand, um, that, you know, the indigos came in waves, even from the, there was a 40s wave, like around Einstein and that. By the way, I'm going to produce a video soon, Einstein was gang-stalked. Yes, believe it. That video is coming up shortly. <laughs> um, so the, there was like indigo waves, and it does, and it has always seemed to me that these outdigos, or these organic portal people, seem to be on the surface, and that's, that's only where they exist, that's what they are. Just surface bodies. And it's very interesting, because you can see this with your psychedelic site, you know. <clears throat> so, it's interesting, there's a few intersecting ideas under this other race thing. Do I think organic portals come from um, the underworld? No, that's not. I've seen that video on YouTube, and that Aryan Orion even says in his video he comes from like an elite bloodline or something. And just the whole thing is off, plus nothing good will ever come from the Orion star system, by the way. In case you don't know that, they're basically a family of dark races up there. <clears throat> nothing good will come from them, whatever. Anyway, so, you know, there, there's a few videos out there, and would I say organic portals are from the underworld? No, because it's the demons in them that are, you know. So you don't say the organic portal is, because that's confusing. And that's how these people always talk, whether they're Mason, MK Ultra, Illuma, Fadi, whatever they are, they always almost have the, the picture, or almost have the idea, and there's some real messed up, like, overtone or undertone under it. Or they just get it, like, purposefully the wrong way. Or say it completely wrong. And you're like, oh, I thought you had the idea, and they always have the same energy. All those secret society type of people, all these elite nitwits, I've always thought they were dumb when they always thought they were superior. Every rich person's friend's home I ever walked into I can remember in the past, growing up in Australia. <clears throat> so, you know, there's a few intersecting things there. Sorry to rant a bit on the side, but, uh, you know, I think these things need to stand corrected because otherwise it's, you know, divided, fallen, you know. Because if the information is not together, it's fallen apart. So they don't want to be divided, conquered, fallen, do we? So... I wouldn't say organic portals are from the underworld. I'd say that they are body people. People that are just like their bodies. I think that's a way better way to explain it than to say organic portals are from the underworld. And that's the video title of a YouTube channel, Aryan Orion. And please, don't make any more videos on organic portals. Just my opinion. You're going to confuse the landscape, and that's how organic portals stuff up spirited movements. So don't be like them. Anyway, so there's a few, you know, intersecting things on organic portals as another race, but, um, so there's a few things for you to look into at least, anyway. But, um, to me, personally, they've always definitely seemed like that, you know, like something else, what are you? <laughs> and, you know, organic portals now comes to mind as a pretty uh, accurate explanation of what they are later in my life at 30 years old, you know. But when I was younger, I always used to see, like, who are these others? <laughs> I always saw these, like, unconscious people, you know? And I, what I saw was just how they wouldn't act on their own behalf, like, in their own spirits, with their own mind, you know, their own soul mind. And they would just always act on behalf of not just other people, because that makes it sound too nice. <laughs> they would act on behalf, moreover, of a, of a control struct, you know, like a control systematic way of behaviour, and, you know, along those sorts of lines. So, I saw these people from quite a young age, I now see, but, uh, yeah, then you've got that movie, They Live, and in that movie, They Live, that's the title of the movie, what's his name, Rodney, or something, anyway, 
But the guy, you've probably seen the clip around the, the YouTube and on my thumbnails of my videos, the guy puts on glasses that allows him to sort of see beyond the um, external, you know, second dimensional physical barrier and like basically kind of like an x-ray sight. It's probably more accurate I say it like that. It's kind of like an x-ray vision. And he sees like these people that are just like, you know, they look evil and blah, 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 all their, you know, their resonance, but he sees basically just their skeleton and maybe they should have shown the spirited humans emitting light in that movie, but I get what they were trying to do. That's pretty much what they were showing. The other race, they live while we sleep, not just the demons at night. They live while we sleep, but they are living, you know, living the high life and physical body in their organic portal bodies while our organic portal, our bodies, suffer. Our, our soul humans, our spirited humans. You know, because we don't just conform. We don't just topple over and go, yes sir. I'll do whatever you say, you tell me how high to jump. We don't do that, you know, so. Definitely rebellion seems to be part of consciousness itself as it pushes through itself, its previous self. Very interestingly enough, that's how the universe, organic portal universe works, you know. It's in a state of continual unfolding. So here we are at the end of human history, the apocalypse now, after the eschaton has ended in 2017. Well, we had 2007 to 2017 as a naked singularity, kind of like a, a time black hole. A naked event horizon that we've crossed through, some people didn't. These dense people are either just, you know, very sleepy or, you know, organic portals. And they don't have the ability to feel how the universe moves, it seems. It seems to me they're more like a pre-atomite sort of thing. And this is where I'll bring it back around to that. Where they're like a stabilization function and, a, and like an initial human, human 1.0. You know what I mean? And our sold humans with had these indigo concrescent periods which started in the 40s one big wave and then you know i'm the third wave apparently um and i'm 30 what 32 or something like now something like that now i don't even care about my age as you can see <laughs> but we had these uh you know indicos indigo sort of time pulsations i would say that that's a good way to explain it and you know, each, each set, or each uh, run of indigoism was, you know, larger. And you have more people awakening too. So, now we're past the, you know, the threshold of 2012 and the 100th monkey uh, critical mass point. You know, it's now the actual surface virus itself is enlightening. Um, the dark veil is now being pierced, you know, by the lights light of consciousness so yeah they're like another race um so there's a few references to it and uh like i was saying they're like you know like a pre like adam was something special like adam was the first indigo or something and from there you get you know as the wor universe works its resonances through you get the higher resonances of everything and that was like the what the lowest or the highest resonance and you got these indigo waves through time as well of indigoism in the id in the higher self go indigo in the id go that's all it really is and connecting to your light body which is fifth dimensional and your fourth dimensional feeling body as well because the real organic portal is only third dimensional egoic seed point of sovereignty consciousness that's the best the organic portal gets to but what's happening now and why I say it's organic portal apocalypse in so many of my videos is that this other race, I think it's their time is up. It's the organic portal apocalypse. Um, and they're the uncomplex humans. It's the sold human which is now going to be the human 2.0 or the main sort of human now uh, where the, the universal energy is thrust into. And then onward into, you know, maybe human 3.0 with this transhumanism for sure. I mean, the robots stronger harder better faster aren't they so we will be melding with them to some degree 
So yeah, I think it's their apocalypse though, the organic portal apocalypse, and they are different to us. Study it, because it's a, a huge, huge overtone to your life here.